Hi, my name is Drew Michael. Uh, I was Anupik and Anupiak. I was born in Bethel, raised in Eagle River, and I've been doing mass carving since 1997. Typically when I start out with a piece of uh, wood, it comes in a block form. I shape it with using some kind of saw or chainsaw, shape the piece. After I just remove material and shape it, I take a chisel and clean it up and make it look like this. Traditionally, masks were made uh, a little bit smaller, about my face size. Uh, so this is actually just an, ex it's an explosion of what I'm doing. It's just magnified. This partnership started with uh, Elizabeth Ellis when she talked to me about painting and carving, kind of a painting-carving collaboration. Uh, and I talked to her about maybe doing something that has to do with cells. I showed her a documentary and some pictures of cells that were uh, kind of meaningful to me and it totally resonated with her and then the project came about. We were really excited about it. My name is Elizabeth Ellis. I am born and raised in Alaska. I'm a painter and I'm a lutic. So I got accepted to do this curating part for out north and I thought of Drew Michael and we came up with this idea to do these life-size masks where he carves them and I paint them. So we thought of this idea to do the top 10 prevalent diseases in Alaska and we wanted to portray them onto the masks and we wanted to combine art, health and science together. And for instance, this one right here is diabetes, and it is the capillary web in the arteries. This piece right here uh, describes cancer, and this red section right here is the cancer moving into the body, and kind of the body's reaction uh, to that cancer. I also did heart disease on one of the masks. So I depicted a cross-section of an artery that is getting suffocated. And uh, the idea of how our bodies are uh, manipulated and distorted by outside sources like uh, disease, bacteria, viruses, things like that. And, and in some way show the beauty of our, our, the cellular structure of our bodies and uh, kind of this transformation, this change that happens. With this burning that I do, it's connecting to that tradition of burning, leaving your mask out into the wilderness to solidify the ceremony. And one thing that I really want to do is I want these things to be alive. Uh, a lot of times, masks are made to just sit on the wall, um, kind of stuck on the wall and stagnant. And I really want this, this process to, to show how even large object, objects can be alive and uh, moving. At the end result, I would like the audience to step back and have a different perspective with looking at art and science combined together, but also look at these diseases in a way that they can also have a reaction to them, especially here in the Alaska communities. I, I just hope that people will actually, you know, step back and look at each disease or maybe one of them just to think about it.